Hello, so we are back and this time we have the job which we diagnosed it like one week ago. If you remember this video, so we diagnosed this uh, laptop, uh, Lenovo Y700. We found that the BQ chip and also a shorted EC chip. So that was like eight days ago. So I ordered the chip from China and the chip arrived. We have the EC chip here. I ordered two. Now, let's replace the EC chip and let's help the customer with this, uh, with this laptop. That's all what we have to do. We have to program the EC chip and replace the EC chip. Um, I did found uh, I did found the EC firmware on um, on our Discord because people ask, okay, where? Sorry, and you just search on the search bar, and you can find uh, uh, schematics, uh, EC BIOS, whatever. So for Y seven hundred, we have a EC room here. So we'll download it. Yeah, desktop. That's fine good now we have here the ecg firmware 128 kilo okay let me grab the programmer and let's program the ec chip give me like one second so we have the interface here let's take a chip out you know i'm curious if uh, if the ec chips are good it was quite cheap so i'm not sure if they are good but if they are good i will share uh, the seller yeah, so that's the EC chip. We're gonna program P number one here. Yeah, that's the P number one. The chip is there. Let's open the program and uh, program the chip as well. Okay, okay. Now, what do we have here? We have an IT chip. Okay, 3.3. Uh, we need a board. We have the ZIF IT. Good. Pins okay, you can see. That's mean the pins are fine. That's mean the chip is good. Good. Read ID. And you can see IT series chip detected. So I'm gonna load up the firmware, 128 kilo, okay. Desktop, firmware. And we're gonna press right. Yeah, he's doing it. Perfect, working. I will share the seller with you. Um, it looks like the chips are good. But let's be sure first. Yeah, let's uh, solder the chip onto the board, see if the board is working, and after that, writing, verifying. Perfect. That's all. So now we can uh, solder the chip onto the board, and we are fine. Yes. Yeah. Just give me one minute. Good, so how we are taking the chip out? Hmm? The faulty one. Very simple, yeah? We should go under the microscope. We can. Yeah, we can, we can. So we have the chip there. You need like a big tweezer, that's what you need there. And I know I have one somewhere. Well, where is it? You found it, found it, found it. So you need like a tweezer like that, yeah? And we can uh, pull the chip out. So I'm gonna use some Rosin flux. Just a little bit, not too much. You don't really need flux when you take the chip out. But you know, let's use it. The chip position, pin number one is there. So I'm gonna use 500 degree, 500, actually 480, 480 degrees with no nozzle on the hot air. 50% air.
and we are waiting for the moment the solder is getting melted yeah and the chip is out it was hard no good so we are leaving on one side this chip and we are coming with a new one how we are soldering the new one yeah there is solder there is flux we don't need anything Uh, what do we need? Yeah, basically nothing. Uh, we can uh, we can match the chip now. Yeah, we can do it. I mean, we can even solder. We can solder some uh, pins. Well, I think we are fine. I mean, this is a shortcut, yeah? I love shortcuts. Shortcuts, it will save you time. And we all know time is money, right? Yeah. So, it looks fine to me. If the chip is not sliding, we are good. You know what? Okay, let me come with a small nozzle. Because this chip, it will slide. Okay, so we have a small nozzle. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Same, 480 degrees. Perfect, perfect, check that, perfect. But I think the chip is sliding on here on, here on the bottom. That's what I think. It is sliding, lol. But still, we are fine. You can see? I mean, okay, it's a little bit off, but we are okay. Hmm? No issues. Let's use some flux. I mean, even if you have problems, you know, it just... We are taking the nozzle out and it can adjust the chip when the solder is melted. So, yeah, no problems. Let's solder the chip properly. And the chip is soldered properly, huh? Of course it is. Perfect. All pins are soldered? I'm pretty sure about that. Probably you can't see. But yeah, we can check, we can check. If you want to check my work, yeah, we can do it. Solder, 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 solder. You see, every pin is soldered properly. You see, you see. Okay, let's cool down the board quickly. Where is my tool? Oh, it's on charge. Sorry. Yes, here. Cool down the board and we can plug the charger and test it. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Huh? Why is taking no current? Because it's too hot, you think?
plug in the charger is taking it's taking nothing pressing the power button nothing happened why wait a second what happened we have no voltage that's mean the board is not coming on we have no 3.3 lol okay that's new no. do you think the LDO power supply died no no it's impossible yeah so we have main power is zero here is fine yeah, here is 19 so yeah we have nothing the big chip the big chip is here let's see here we have 19 here we have 2.5 which is fine and here we have six volts so every voltage is fine on the big chip do you think the main power is shorted actually let's check So the main power rail is good, it's not shorted. Zero, zero, no. No, the main power rail is not shorted. Then I have no idea why, uh, why it's not working. One amp. The board is on, one amp. It's on, the board is on, one amp and it's switching off. Why is it taking one amp and it's switching off? Because the CPU doesn't have a heat sink? Yeah, possible. One second, one second. So let me understand. Do you think actually it's because we don't have like a proper charger with proper charger ID pin? And if I come with 19 here, the board is starting. Let me put the heat sink back. Yeah? Give me one second. We are supplying the main power rail. Here. Yeah. Here is the main power rail. Good. Perfect. And we are following for the picture. Huh? 19 volts coming with 19 here. And the board is coming on. One amp. We have picture. That's crazy. Actually, it's working. Oh, lol. Ha. Huh? Pressing the enter button. I can't. I can't. I move the, the thingy. Okay, let me find a proper charger. Yeah, let me find a proper charger. Hey, another day with the same laptop. I managed to find a charger, uh, a proper Lenovo charger, and now it's time to test. I did test it before, before I uh, put all back together. Plug in the charger, pressing the power button, and all working fine. Huh? Loading the windows. And uh, looks like the customer reset the windows on this one. So I tested with my hard drive and it's working fine. Perfect. What do you think? So you see, replacing uh, the AC chip is not such a big deal. Now let me show you from where I bought the AC chips. I, uh, I said I'll show you. So IT-A371E. You can see I bought two for 282 uh, proper chip. I mean, two pounds 82 for two easy chips. Now, this is the seller if you are looking to buy. But looks like he sold like 600 plus. So, yeah, they are good. Now, on the other hand, replacing the easy chip, 
it's not hard, but programming the EC chip, the tool is quite expensive. And if you ask me, I will say it's not really worth it. But yeah, I'm happy I helped this customer. Uh, finally, we repair his laptop. So I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.